by Greg Smith, uh, Attorney General and Minister for Justice. Well, the tour was uh, an opportunity for me to start seeing corrective services on the ground. I want to meet the, the staff, both the prison officers and the other administrative staff, the chaplains, the educators, the people that teach uh, corrective service industries that run that, all those things, plus I want to see the prisons. And I've been very impressed at the organisation of this place. Uh, it seems to be very well run. It seems to have a happy atmosphere. Uh, it, it seems to be uh, spacious. It's got a feeling of space about it, unlike most prisons I've been to, which I think would cut down the frustration of the inmates and the staff, I would imagine, in working here. Uh, and I'm very proud to be the minister of this establishment. Uh, well, a good jar like this, I think uh, it's good as it's good if you can fill it as much as possible, to because it's much more modern and much more efficient than some of the other jars we have. So the purpose is really to show that I'm a hands-on minister. I'm not just going to run my department from Macquarie Street. I want to get out there and listen to the people, both the the workers in the. Uh, jails, the administrators, the prison officers, the background staff and the official visitors and other people involved. And I also want to hear sometimes from prisoners. Okay, we're now in the sterile zone. Right now. So the area I only said hello. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't have much chance uh, to talk today but I have spoken to prisoners in the past and uh, I don't find that daunting at all. Well, we, we need the jails we have to, to house the prisoners we have. If the number of prisoners drops, then we, maybe we will close more jails, but uh, no plans at the moment. The seven-day rotating shifts? Over budget, which... which Is that uh, fear? No, it's not. I, I think this jail is being very well managed and I'm, I'm sure they'll get down to their budget amount. No, I, I'm not surprised. I, I, uh, I would expect that a new jail would cost more to start up. There'd be new expenses that wouldn't carry on to, further, uh, to later years. The jails will always be a challenge uh, to any government. Uh, I, don't, uh, I don't shrink from that challenge. I, I think they're very necessary, but uh, we also need to encourage uh, as many people not to re-offend once they're released. And that's one of my main uh, policies, to cut down re-offending.